portfolio websites from people who've actually worked at Apple. So if you want to work at Apple too, then you want to make sure you like this video, save it for later, and call me the Dark Knight to make my dream of becoming Batman come true. Stop it. Get some help. Ooh, we got a loading transition. Nice. Check out this interactive hover effect. Whoa, sticky. Looks like he works at the human interface team at Apple. Classic. We got a bento grid, some of his writing. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Those hover effects, they're sexy. Damn, that's hot. Let's check out one of his case studies. Hmm, this one. Okay, so he worked on the Google AI Assistant. Interesting. But let's check this out on mobile. Mm, I love the subtle animations. Top tier work from Adrian. Wow, we got a nice background color change. Very clean. And of course, any work from Apple is kept secret under strict NDAs. But let's keep scrolling and check out more of his work. Ah, it looks like he also worked for Twitch. Oh, that's so clean. And look at those scroll base interactions. I love that. Oh, this is super great work here. Notice all the motion and interaction work on all of these portfolios. Yep, it looks clean on mobile too. There you go. Great job from David. Damn, we just got flexed on. Great layout, use of spacing, and clean hover interactions. But what can we learn from his work at Apple? Classic Apple. You know, it's really not Eric's fault. Apple likes to keep all of their work private. But no worries, let's actually check out some of his other projects and see what we can learn from them. Looks like Eric focuses on design and art direction. See, what I love about Eric's work is that he has a great use of layout and spacing. It's easy to scan and it makes all of his work look premium. Mobile check looks great. So I get it, I get it. You might be thinking, these portfolio websites are cool and all, but how can I create my own portfolio website that is just as impressive? Well, let me introduce you to Framer. It's a website builder that will help you create websites just like this. And the best part is it's not even that complicated to use. If you're familiar with Figma, like me, you'll recognize its canvas-based approach super easily. And one of my favorite features is Framer's ability to create really cool animations and interactions, which is exactly the type of thing that Apple is looking for. And they also got an extensive library of templates for you to start with. So if you want to support me, support the sponsor of today's video, Framer, by signing up to the free account and just trying it out for yourself. Ooh, artsy. Let's see some of her experimental work. Super cool. It looks like she actually plays around with After Effects. Interesting. Let's check out some of her videos. That's really cool. I think what these portfolios actually show is how diverse everyone's background and skill set is. There's no one clear answer or formula on how to work for Apple. The only pattern I'm really recognizing is that Apple really values animation and interaction work, among other things. Oh, this portfolio is going to be good. Wow. Let's see some of his work. Dude, that is so sick. I'm kind of speechless. You know the thing that I said about Apple hiring for interaction work and animations? Yeah, I'm doubling down on that. Ooh, I want to see this virtual reality case study. His case studies are just so clean. I think the typography and the spacing is just perfect. Let's all go down to the comment section and vote for our favorite portfolio. And if you want to learn about how to diversify your income as a designer so you're not relying on your 9 to 5 job, then you want to watch this video next.